In this video, we will look at how you can adjust your link categories to make your links appear differently. So uh, to give you some example, at the moment, I've got this sort of this thin black line representing a normal link. And if I click on it, it highlights green to show that that's the link I've got selected. There are also settings that will allow you to give different links their own link categories. So for example, if I select this link and go to properties, there's a list of link categories in here that I can choose and you can create more as well. You can give each one its own appearance, its own color, for example, uh, and you can even show and hide individual link categories that you only see certain ones in your, uh, in your bar chart. What we're gonna do is we're gonna modify the appearance of our, our default, our normal link category, essentially. And to do so, the first thing I need to do is go into my Library Explorer under the View tab, look for the Link Category folder, and go into there. Now what I'm going to do for this demonstration as well, I'm going to put my Library Explorer alongside my projects so you can actually see the links change while I make the modifications in here. So we know that my links are using the category Normal, which is here in the list. And what I can do, for example, is if I click on this, uh, this normal style of link, let's make it a bit thicker, and when I click away, you can see all my links in the bar chart have gotten thicker because that's the link category that they're currently using. Um, if I just undo that change, set them back to normal, what I can do instead is I could leave those links as the normal appearance and then just make it so my selected links, rather than just turning green like so, I can make them so that they appear either a different color or a different pattern, a different thickness, for example, so they stand out more when I've got them highlighted. So first thing I am gonna need to do, however, is right click on the selected category and go to properties. The reason for this is that there's a tick box at the bottom. I need to uncheck that because what will happen otherwise is it'll only override the color and not the thickness as well. So let's get rid of that, close. And now if I modify this link, uh, let's make it as thick as the software allow me to go. Let's change the arrow to, uh, let's go for a nice blue color and click away. And now when I select my link, I've got a nice thick blue arrow with a green head. Thank you for watching this tutorial video.